Hi Sixes. I hope you had a lovely last month. This is your Life Path Number Tower reading for the month of November 2019. As you can see, we've started these videos off a little bit differently than usual. That is in order to maximize my time, so, um, and also yours as well, you know, half of those videos. I realize what I do it this way, I save half of the time that I that my videos are because most of that is just me being silent and thinking or um, you like or me shuffling and you guys don't need that. So we're going to be doing our life path number reading. Welcome to the channel. If you are new or don't know how to get your life path reading, there is a link in the description to a video where I explain exactly how you find what your life path number is. Also in the description, you can find anything else you'd like to know about the channel and book a personal reading if that is something you'd like. My, I am now taking personal readings, even though I may soon be changing the way I take them. So we're going to start as usual with an overall message. Um, please forgive the bandage on my finger. I feel like there's always bandage somewhere, usually due to my cat, this time due to something I did, um, just like bad habits that I have when, um, yeah, anyway, please forgive me. Let's see what your overall message is. So we're going to roll this die and see what message you have from the universe. For those with a life path number of six, for the month of November 2019, what is their overall guiding message? For those individuals who are here and resonating with this reading or who will resonate with this reading, what is their overall guiding message for November 2019? You have what's on top. One. Cute. Um... You have a 1 and a 7. I'm going to read both of them because when I was laying out the cards, for some reason in my brain, I thought, what if they get a 7? And because 1 is what I saw um, on top, but 7 is actually what I saw first, I'm going to go ahead and read both of them. So with 1, are you helping in this situation, 6? Or are your efforts creating more problems than they are, sol than they are solving? And 7, your loyalties may be split right now, Six. Set boundaries for yourself and don't let other people drag you into their drama. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with some drama where you think you're helping a situation, but you being there isn't helping anybody. Um, they, I mean, like, they may even be telling you, like, you're helping me, I appreciate you being here, but what they're really doing is they're venting to you about a mutual friend, and then you have to go to that mutual friend and either pretend that you didn't hear all this horrible stuff about them or let them know that this person is talking about them. And it's just like this whole thing of drama, and while you're trying to be helpful as much as you can, trying to be a good friend, you're really just being dragged to someone else's mess okay so that's what I'm feeling for those of you who are resonating with this message so let's see what your direct message is um, I asked all the same questions as usual so what is the direct message for those with a life path number of six for the month of November this message will help us understand our reading follow your own rhythm okay do your own thing do what it is that feels right to your soul regardless of what someone else's opinion is regardless of what you know um, the people around you are trying to tell you to do okay follow your own rhythm do what you need to do to be your truest healthiest self so let's see what's going on in your soul what is going on um, what your soul is trying to bring to the surface what it's trying to tell you for the month of november what's going on with the soul of those with a life path number of six you got the six of swords yet yeah, you're not dealing with anybody else's nonsense you're sick of it you're ready to move on um you're ready to just leave it all behind let it go this would be you kind of i think moving into a more positive mindset this i think is you moving away from a negative mind like it's it, i know it's it's basically doing the same thing but it's like instead of you moving out of something that's a problem for you and into something better this is you moving away like not necessarily telling you what you're going into but you're just kind of getting away from those people or the things that have split your loyalties or that you're you were trying to help like you're just kind of saying you know what I don't have the spoons for this. I don't. I am tired. I am. I want. I got. I got stuff I need to do for myself, and I'm over here trying to help everybody else. And I feel like that's kind of where you are, and you're starting to get into this point where spiritually you're just like, I need to get into my own element. I need to be me. I need to follow my own rhythm, um, and I can't keep dealing with everybody else's drama or everybody else's needs. So I feel like that's where you are right now in your soul. Let's see what your subconscious has to say. This is your heart and mind message for the month of November. What's going on in the subconscious of those with a life path number of six? 
another five. So you have two fives, five of coins this time. So you might be focused more on um, either on money or just like on trying to make something happen and maybe you're not seeing it happen the way you want. It could be because you've been trying, you've been focusing so much on other people's issues, on other people's drama that you haven't really been able to deal with your own things, that you haven't really been able to focus on your own dreams. And now you're kind of at this point where you're just like, ugh, what, like, what do I do? Why, why have I put up with all of this for so long? Who am I? I feel so alone. Like, it could be someone, like I said, who is mad at another friend of yours and is trying to get you on their side. But if that doesn't work and you go and you do your own thing, then they're going to leave you out. And then they're going to start talking bad about you and trying to put you down and making it so that you seem like the bad person. And so you're just kind of dealing with their drama all over again. Unfortunately, in November, I feel a lot of you are dealing with other people's drama. Let's see what's going on in your physical world because this is, this is underneath the surface. This is how you're thinking about it, what you're feeling about it um but we'll see what's going on in the actual physical mundane look at that six of wands five six five six so you guys are kind of going back and forth again your loyalties are torn you're going back and forth between like either this person or, or an idea or something um and you're just not oh how do i say it? you're you i don't know i just feel like it's not an easy time for you it's not and with the Six of Wands in your, um, in your physical life. Hmm. What is this card telling us? I feel like either with the Six of Wands. And we're gonna, I'm going to pull some clarifiers after, um, we get to our closing remarks. Um, but with the Six of Wands, I feel like either you because you're doing your own thing now are expecting like people are noticing that people are noticing that you're kind of taking your own taking reins of your situation of your life um alternatively you're just feeling like you've been maybe betrayed or like um things just haven't worked out like you've been putting effort into someone else's issues someone else's life into supporting someone else and then you're starting to realize that they are not supporting you back. They are not, um, you know, they're, they're not recognizing the effort you've put into supporting them. And maybe even because you're taking this change, you're going into doing your own thing. Maybe they're accusing you of not supporting them at all like maybe they're they're sitting there being like well you never do this you never do that and you're like excuse me i've done all this stuff for you so you maybe even be dealing with some sort of um arguments here unfortunately but you know what i think i think even with their drama you're 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 over it it doesn't matter how much they try to convince you to come back or how much they try to convince you to do things their way you you recognize that this that that argument that oh you never do this you never do that you're going to recognize that that's them that they're just trying to get into your head that that is what they've been doing to you and now they're accusing you of exactly what they've done to you um and you're just you're over it you're ready to remove yourself from that situation so let's see what your closing remarks are for the month of november 2019 we have ace of wands so you had some sort of goal something that was uh important to you two of pentacles you had to make a choice six of cups something maybe that had to do with your past or a soulmate connection the magician um, and then you had to find your own way through this situation the magician is a reminder that you have all of the skills that you need to achieve something so you had some sort of goal something that inspired you um, and then you had a choice oh i forgot to do your support message so this is this is sorry guys this is a support message from whoever you pray to whether it's god goddess um your angels your ancestors um the universe in general just whoever it is you call on when you are happy or sad or thankful or or needing help etc okay so what is the message of support for those with a life path number of six for the month of 2019 my head is doing this fun tingly thing that's great when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Okay? So they're just telling you to have faith that things are going to be okay. You are changing your mind on a soul level. You're moving through something. I, I do feel like for some of you it's possible you were told, 
in the past that you were either um, you were hard to love or hard to deal with and you kind of have had that in your soul for a long time and now you realize that no that's just someone else's beliefs that's someone else's drama that's someone else's mess I don't need it um, so let's see what we have up here we have four of pentacles four of swords seven of cups so you have two fours here five six five six four four six of cups i do think you could be de some of you are dealing maybe with a a soulmate relationship some of you are dealing with a um just a situation of like a childhood friend maybe like you've had to you've had this like connection with someone and maybe you've had to choose between two friends and you have had to take control and say listen stop I'm not dealing with any of either of your drama anymore and moving on and when you decided to move on a lot of doors opened up for you either you met new people or the friends that didn't put you through this drama just kind of came out and were like finally we, we we can talk to you because you're not surrounded by those crazy people anymore those people with a bad attitude like we're here for you and now you're at a point where you can just kind of chill you have to let yourself know that, you know, that's not your circus and those aren't your monkeys. Someone else's problems are not your problems in November. Someone, I feel like for most of you, someone is very much going to try to drag you into their problems. And this, your message is to be a little selfish. Be a little bit less open to them, less available to you, to them, okay? You can't help this situation. Whatever the situation is, whatever the problem is that someone else brings to you, and I do feel like it's going to be a person outside of you. It could be a boss. It could be at work. Um, it could be, like I said, a friend who's trying to get you to choose between them and another friend. It could be a um, any, just any situation that has been causing you stress and forcing you to have to choose between one thing or another. And like, this isn't the first time they've forced you to have to make some sort of choice like this. This isn't the first time because of the Six of Cups and this Two of Pentacles behind it. I feel like this is something that's been ongoing. This is a pattern for them. And they call themselves your friend, but they're just, what they're asking you for is to, like, it's just back and forth, one step forward, one step back. And they're just asking you to do these things that are, like, outside of, of, um just how much you can actually offer at this point and you've given as much as you can you've given a lot and then at this point it's like they're not appreciating it they don't deserve this this love that you have for them they don't deserve how often or how hard you work for them how much you put in to make this work there's so much more out there for you that you deserve so much more positive energy for you once you free yourself of this connection once you start doing things your own way and move away from this drama get yourself out of this situation um get yourself away from this person that's making you feel down and low and lonely about yourself and let yourself know that that's their problems are not your problems you have your own stuff to take care of okay do take care of yourself all right so that is your message for november 2019 Number six, thank you so, so much for being here. I cannot wait to see um, how your month goes. Please let me know in the comments how it goes, how you get yourself out of this situation, because I feel like I can, like in the back of my head, I hear someone just kind of saying, oh no, she didn't. That's it. I'm done. Like just saying, you know what? Screw her. Like, and I know that like, you could be a masculine, you could be feminine. That's just in my head how, how I'm hearing it. Just like, oh no, she did not. I am out of here. Um, so good luck with that, Sixes. I really hope that this month goes very well for you, despite having to deal with whoever this is about, whoever you're dealing with. And, um, I will see you next time and in our pick a card readings. Go check those out. They're already available. And remember, always, always, always that I love you. Have a great month. Bye.